What's up guys, NBA Talk, second video for us. This one is the Toronto Raptors versus the Denver Nuggets game that went down yesterday. Um, very close battle. Two of the top of their conference, Denver for the Western Conference, Toronto for the Eastern Conference. Going at it, um, they got, these two teams have been on a good stretch um, and they went at it. Both teams, like, they showed versatility on the defensive end and the offensive end. But in this game, it seemed like Denver wanted it more. Not to say that the Toronto Raptors didn't put any effort into it. But Denver, like, they just put, like, they really went hard on this one. Like, they were really fighting in this game, uh, being more physical. Also having more hustle for the ball uh offense or defensive wise like just keeping track of the ball being aware of it even though they turned the ball over a whole bunch of times um but they were they were definitely very very active in this game everybody um and they were able to edge out because Kyle Lowry could not hit that three he could have like that thing was looking like it was going to go down but it hit the back of the rim it came out tough luck for the Toronto Raptors um, it is what it is but a win is a win for the Denver uh, 106 to 103 I wouldn't Toronto don't beat yourself up too bad like this was a tough bout um, you were able to push back to try to get yourself in position to uh, to tie this game up you had a chance um, you just missed that's all Nothing really to worry about. You better worry about uh, Philadelphia tomorrow. That's going to be a crazy battle. So, yeah, Denver win this game. They're 16 and 7, 7 and 4 on the road. Here's the stats. Uh, Nicola, he, he has been one of the top centers in the game uh, for sure. And uh, all star, for sure. All star. I think he's going to be, by the time of the all star break, you know, he's going to be an all star. Uh, 23 points um, for Nikola Joik, 15 assists, 11 rebounds, 2 steals, and and that's pretty much it. 8 for 13 from the field, 7 for 8 from the free throw line. He's a freak of nature. Uh, Jamal Murray dropping 21 points. Hera Gomez with 15 points. Off the bench, you got Michael Beasley. Well, not Michael Beasley, but Beasley nonetheless. Um, 15 points off the bench. The team shot 44% from the field, 39% from the three-point range, 49 rebounds, 32 assists, 9 steals. Toronto Raptors, they shot 46% from the field, 26% from the three. They made the same amount of threes, 11. Denver Nuggets, 11. It's just that the Toronto Raptors made a more effort to shoot the three ball. Um... Kawhi Leonard, 27 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. He was 10 for 19 from the field. Uh, Kyle Lowry with 5 points, 11 assists, 3 rebounds, and 3 block shots. Danny Green with 9 points. Siakam with 14 points, 7, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Serge Ibaka with 15 points and 5 rebounds on the block shot. And then off the bench, you got DeLon Wright with 9 points. Fred Van Viet played 18 minutes. One for seven from the field. And Venetunas picked up ten rebounds with eight points. And that's pretty much it to say. Um, Toronto, I believe they face a weak-ass team. Uh, oh, no, 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 what I'm talking about. They're facing the Denver Nuggets. I mean, not Denver Nuggets. 76ers. Philadelphia 76ers versus the Toronto Raptors tomorrow. That's going to be a big battle. Um, Denver Nuggets got it easy. They face Orlando Magic tomorrow. So, they're going to continue on their streak. Uh, their six wins in a row. It looks like going to be seven in a row tomorrow. So, that's going to be crazy. Um, so, that's it. Peace.